so many people want to slide by in life, doing as little as possible, but yet get as much as possible and as much recognition as possible for what little they did. They care about no one but themselves. Elise Bolding was a Quaker sociologist that devoted her life to the peace and conflict studies. She first moved to the United States as a child from Norway. Her first memories here were of her mother crying and missing Norway, their safe place. She promised her mother she would return to that safe place if war ever broke out again. World War II started, the attack on Norway from Germany. It was then she realized there was not a safe place in the world and her life goal was made clear how to prevent war. In her youth is when she became a part of the Quaker religion and became active in anti-war activities. Through her faith, she found the Religious Society of Friends and her husband, who also was a peace researcher, but also an academic economist, a poet, and became the strongest influence in Elise's life. They moved to various universities and started a family together where they had five children. She still continued her peace research published multiple books, and became a part of multiple organizations. Elise studied a woman's role in the family and how it changed over time, from pa Paleolithic to present time. She found that women were the ones that were doing most of the farming and the research for protecting the environment. She believed that women doing these things were the ones that could keep groups from fighting too much. She thought women to be at the decision thought that women should be at the decision-making table, but they weren't. We were at a standstill in economy, in the, in, as an economy. Boulding had the idea that children have an influence on the greater society. She thought parents should take their children seriously, listen and converse with them wholeheartedly, and accept their ability to influence parents' own social imagination. She thought that women had a great deal of influence on the world. But the United States was at a standstill. The UN had a great table and had women all around it making decisions. She thought that women had the ability to bring peace to the world. World peace is something you grow up hearing about and wishing for. So many people sacrifice their own freedom, lives, and loved ones to protect those that need protecting. The question is always, what causes us to have to behave and act as we do, from children to adolescents to adults against each other. As children, we think it's all innocence and learning, but what the excuse but what is the excuse we have as adults going to war with other countries and causing such conflict? Has anyone gotten to the root cause of war and the inability to achieve world peace? Elise Boulding devoted her entire life trying to find an answer to what most people want but aren't necessarily willing to try and achieve. Elise Boulding was involved in many different groups and organizations geared towards world peace, raising, raised a family, was a college professor, and continued on to trying to change the world. She believed the family life played a key role in making the world a peaceful place. One of her most favorite quotes, most famous quotes is, We must look toward society that set a high value on non-aggression and non-competitiveness, and therefore handle conflicts by non-violent means. We can see how child-rearing patterns produce nurturing adult behaviors. Elise Boulding was truly a saint that tried to bring peace to the world, tried to get women's voices heard, and tried to make, make a difference.